Hello everyone, welcome back to the workshop. So today we're going to have a little bit of fun. We're going to see what it takes to bend an I-beam. Thank you all for watching. Okay, real quick, before we begin, I'm going to give you all some measurements. So this measures at, I'm going to try to do it in inches and millimeters. So the inches is two and a half inches wide by three inches tall I-beam. So I think that converts out to, correct me if I'm wrong in the comment section, 72 and a half mil wide by 75 mil tall. Let me know in the comment section if I'm right there. Uh, just doing this on the fly real quick before I go inside to have my dinner. So let's go see if we can take and heat this thing up. We're going to be using the gas forge. We're going to try to get as long of a heat as possible on this. And then I'm just going to throw it in the vise and with some gentle persuasion, see if we can get this thing to bend with a lot of heat. Alrighty there ladies and gentlemen, apparently I do not possess the tooling nor technology to bend I-beam in a consistent manner just yet. Anyways, just wanted to see what would happen if I tried. As you can see that center spine wants to collapse is really what it's wanting to do and that's from trying to hammer on it. But it would be my assumption to try to bend it, it would do that as well. So obviously the top and bottom is like bending a piece of bar the flat way or the easy way. And then the middle portion 
is like trying to bend a bar hard the hard way which as these I-beams are extruded out through a bunch of heat and pressure through a bunch of rollers I'm pretty sure this is designed in to keep these things from buckling and, and uh, just collapsing a great big giant building that's why we still use them to this day anyways if anybody ever had any guesses as to what it would take to bend an I-beam there you are there you have it quite ambitious now I'm gonna go get dinner thank you all for watching this video let me know what you thought of it in the comment section down below what could I have done differently to maybe produce a different result and yes I know I could use a press but just trying to muscle power it anyways thank you all for watching thank you ladies and gentlemen I hope you all enjoyed the video if you did give it that big thumbs up and as always God bless you and we'll catch you on the next one